So uh, I'm going to take you on a really quick journey through the latest and greatest from Mapillary. Uh, it's been almost one year since we joined Facebook. So we're part of the Facebook reality teams, uh, reality labs team, uh, working on mapping the world uh, as ever. So we're going to take you through what the next stages are at Mapillary. So there's going to be five things we're going to look at, and I'll go through each one of these. So there's your quick overview. And number one thing we'll jump right into is the new Mapillary API. So many of you may be using the old API, which is currently API version 3. The new one is going to also be a REST API. We're going to have a little more of a focus on vector tiles. Uh, so when you search for something like images um, or the image metadata, when you search for the detections that are in the images or the map features that are derived from the images, a lot of time you're going to be able to get those back as a vector tile and then turn it into a GeoJSON rather than get it directly as GeoJSON as before. Uh, so you'll have all those same aspects of the data that we provided before, just a little bit different of a format. Uh, you'll want to generate a new access token to get on this version 4 API uh, instead of using the client ID that you had in API v3. And overall, we hope this is going to be faster and simpler for everyone. Uh, it's, it's a lot more slimmed down and should be a lot more effective on getting data, especially at large scale, where doing a, a request for about a thousand items at a time and paginating was not very efficient. And the next item we want to look at, speaking of vector tiles, is how we have integrated these now into Rapid and Jossum. So previously, if you're familiar a bit with the code or even just with the loading time in those two platforms, as well as the ID editor, uh, you'd know that turning on the Mapillary vector tiles can make things a little slow. Uh, and that's because it was really just grabbing GeoJSONs from our API and loading them uh, one piece at a time. So it's going to be a lot more efficient now with the vector tiles directly implemented. So go ahead and try that out. Uh, I think you can try it now in Rapid. And Jossum, we should see it, I think, very soon as well. And we're waiting on a pending merge for the regular ID editor. Third thing we're going to look at is this on the, the Mapillary web app on the website. It's mapillary.com slash app. You're going to see a, a better geocode search. So we had some limitations with it in the past just based on what we're using for geocoding. Uh, we've now beefed that up a little bit. So you can search for a street address. Um, whoop. It's like I've lost my PDF. Um, so I'll re-upload that. But you'll be able to search for a street address. You'll be able to search for a, uh, a place, let's say like a city name. You can search for Austin, Texas. And you can also search for POIs. Uh, so for example, maybe you want to look for Volunteer Park in Seattle. Uh, this will also be something that will return in that search. And then on the filter side, uh, you'll see in the image here the color coding. You can now turn on a uh, filter, the map like coverage by age option. So you'll see green for newest, red for oldest, and the yellow color in between. Uh, a really cool feature you'll also see on the Mapillary web app will be the 3D uh, point cloud mode. So there's two different versions of this you'll see. Um, a 3D button will be on the right side menu. With point cloud only, you'll see the point clouds derived from the images. So that's kind of a 3D model. And then the street plus spatial will show you location of images around you and kind of overlay that point cloud view on top of the image that you're currently viewing. And this really works best in densely mapped areas. That means somewhere with a lot of imagery, especially in urban area. So there's a lot of uh, 3D to show you. And finally, the upload process will be improved. So we've updated the desktop uploader. This is a standalone app that you can use. Um, that's going to be kind of the way you interface with the upload, but also once it hits our server, the upload time is now going to be faster. Uh, the processing and publishing is going to be faster, and you'll see a little more detail on your user account about what's been uh, uploaded, what's been processing, and what's been published. We'll take the web uploader out of the browser, uh, but in turn, we're going to have some more upload updates coming soon on future ways to get your imagery out to Mapillary. And a quick bonus, uh, we have some favorite cameras we want to recommend. So as always, the mobile app, 
Uh, that's going to have some changes and updates, and it's always a great way to quickly get imagery on Mapillary. And then on top of that, we recommend the GoPro Max, which uh, is a little more budget friendly than also the other one here, the Lab Pano Pilot one, uh, which is a lot more expensive, so it might be better for professional projects. But both of those will get great 360 imagery on Mapillary and work really well with the desktop uploader. So those come recommended going forward. Uh, that's all I've got. I'll put my email address in the chat as well. And I hope to hear from everyone and see more imagery. Thank you.